I'm sick for three months, in and out the hospital trying to find out what's wrong with me. We found out it was my gallbladder, mm -hmm. right? My family took me to the hospital. While I'm getting cut open, he on the phone with the next female trying to explain to her why he ain't gonna see her in a couple of days because he gotta take care of his cousin friend, his cousin wife because she didn't have surgery, but he really talked about his own wife didn't have surgery. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. This isn't Latara and Keenan's first time in divorce court. After their first appearance, they decided to stay in their seven-year marriage and work things out. But Latara complains that though things were great for a few months, Keenan rapidly returned to his old abusive and womanizing ways. And this time, she says she's had enough. I'm on the bus. The bus turned the corner, and guess who I see? This fool in some, some female truck of her car cleaning it out. I said, Lord, I know if I get off this bus, it's gonna be some drama, cause I'm a drama, I'm a drama queen. She uh, went out with a friend, went out with her. They went and did, I guess, a little part of where they went to and everything. Okay, here you come strolling back up at seven o'clock in the morning. Will this finally be the end for Latara and Keenan, or will Judge Lynn finally be able to help this couple set their marriage straight? Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I remember the two of you. <laughs> How you doing, Your Honor? <laughs> I'm all right. Ms. Latara Johnson and Mr. Keenan Johnson, you were here in divorce court before, and I, if I, if I recall correctly, I told you two to stay away from one another. Mm -hmm. But here you are yet again. Nobody didn't listen to me. I try to keep everybody out together can. When I would say run, I mean run. I said it for a reason, but anyway. <laughs> we're back here again, and in order to figure out, you, you've been married seven years, two children together. Three. Three, three children? Mm -hmm. Three children together. And I want us, want us to take a look at what happened, a little bit of what happened last time you were here. <laughs> I'm tired of talking to these other women on the phone about my husband. He coming home smelling like I'm giving them our money Nobody for the household. Know, how do you know he's giving them your, your because money? Because I've met with the female, and she no, told me on no, numerous no, occasions, no, it's too shit. coincidental that you lose a certain amount of money, and before she I even shows ask, up with it. Yeah, and, and before I even ask the young lady how much money he gave you, she tells me the exact amount of money that he claimed he lost. Ms. Johnson, I'm going to start with you. Tell me what's been going on since I've seen you. Uh -huh. After we left, we tried to get back together. So I decided to go see my kids at school. Right. On my way home, Your Honor, I can't drive a car no more because I'm disabled and I'm sick. I can't drive the car no more. So I'm on the bus. The bus turned the corner, and guess who I see? This fool in some, some female truck of her car cleaning it out. I'm on the bus. I got sick to my stomach. I said, Lord, I know if I get off this bus, it's gonna be some drama, cause I'm a drama, I'm a drama queen. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just problem. stayed on the bus and it, and it passed a that's little while. The problem. Yeah, I said, Latera, if you if you ain't got no guts and you ain't got no if you ain't got no respect for yourself, you better not stay on this bus. So I got off the bus and I walked up there. I was so agitated, I almost regurgitated on myself. Uh -huh. That's how anxious I was. Yeah. Seen this fool. His ears, his eyeballs got big like no, deer no, in the headlights. No, they did not. So we fussing. I'm not noticing they got two females standing on the side. Uh-huh. Now, I'm, we busy fussing. This female walks up and trying to figure out why this female fussing with her man. I said, first of all, sweetheart, I'm his wife. His wife? Not, was, I said, yeah, no. I'm his wife. No, so like you that. ain't got no business up in this business like no way anyway, I pimp. Like Miss That's what I told her. Pimp, you know what? You know what? That's you know what? Me what, up, what? Tell me your you don't version of that You don't question me about story. my husband at okay. all. Okay, this is my version right here. She said I was clean out, cleaning out and everything. I was not cleaning one's car out. I was actually moving some stuff around from inside the car, and you know, like like I said, it is a friend of mine, and all this prancing she doing everything is not doing any good. Cause he lying. You need to relax. Mr. Johnson was a womanizer when he came in here last time, was he not? Did I not hear but, one story after another about how he hurt your heart, he, he abused your soul? Me, I'm your talking. I'm sorry. Abused I'm your wrong. soul and di disrespected your being. Did you not tell me that? Yes. And what made you go back to him in the first place? Love. 
Oh, nice love. Mr. Johnson, yes. let, let, let's, let's, let's have... Uh, um, okay. Did you miss a birthday? Did I miss a birthday? Right. No, I did not. Oh! Oh, your honor! Oh! No, I did not. Oh, no, your honor, not. please let me no, tell you. Not. Let me tell you the story, tell. Mrs. Johnson. Because it's tell like the Charlie Brown. Tell the story. Hang on, hang on. Wong, well, Wong, Wong, Wong coming out of his mouth. Ain't nothing making sense. Oh, he lying. I told my husband five months in advance. I've been wearing this cologne since I was 12. It ain't been no five it's months. It's $80. It ain't been no five months. I told him I want a bottle of so-and-so, uh -huh. so-and-so, and so-and-so. -and -so. I was telling him this for five months straight. My birthday come, I ain't even get a card. Not even a you didn't hand get a call at all. I didn't get nothing. You didn't get a call. From him. You didn't get nothing. I didn't get nothing. You didn't get anything. And when I complained about it, he got mad at me oh and went out and just oh bought anything gracious. and told my mama. Oh my gracious. Oh, I don't appreciate you. Are. You, are. you know what? Mama, you know what? 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 Mr. Johnson, what happened on her birthday? Okay, well, um, sure enough, sure enough, um, she did, um, she did ask me prior, I mean, prior time and everything, give me enough time to get get a birthday gift for her. But the thing about it was, I can't lie to you, I waited till the last moment. And I can't lie, my money fell short. I'm always mad. No, I ain't never okay, first. no, no. How, hang on, hang on, short? let him finish. So in other words, um, the cologne and teddy bear she asked for and everything, I mean, I actually went out and got, but it wasn't to her, like the way she wanted everything. My thing is right here. He didn't go get them till I started complaining. No, 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 no. How nothing. is that? How is that? He didn't go how get them after oh, I started. How is that? I said, it's my birthday, how, you ain't coming. How is that? How is that? How is that, Tara? I have this when Tall. I come home from work. Tara. Right? I, 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 oh, my I, I God. Understand, I, I understand what's happening It's here. 10 o'clock at night, Basic. I'm getting a birthday present. <sighs> ain't no 10, we no 10 o'clock. Don't lie like that. We on, we we on, we on national TV. Don't lie like that. Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Johnson. I'm going to keep it real. No, you going to do it right. Hey, hey, hey. You won't go there, we're gonna go there. At, at whatever. <laughs> if you two go there, you will go alone. <laughs> I'm not sitting here for it. I'm not handling it. I'm not dealing with it. So just get up off it. When Divorce Court continues, what shocks Latara so much she needs to take a seat? My, it's me. No. I, oh, <laughs> I gotta sit down for this, because I'm about to faint. Divorce isn't easy. Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Latara Johnson who returns to Divorce Court for a second time and reports that her husband remains a womanizer. But is she just as scandalous? Does she strip for a living? Does she strip for a living? Yes. You tell the truth? If that's what you want to call it, yeah. My, it's my, no. I, oh, <laughs> I gotta sit down for this, because I'm about to faint. If you don't stand because back this, up because that, that ain't right, that, 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 you, your honor, honor, I don't care, Ms. Okay, Johnson. Okay, 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 you know what? Mr. Johnson, breathing. not another word. Okay, Mr. Did, Johnson, yes. does she strip? Or doesn't she? Okay, she don't strip, but her friend does. And, that, and, that's, and that's where a problem comes in right there. While I was working there, they cut us back down to 32 hours, which means literally there's no money in the house, and then here she is, gobble, 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 complaining about money. What? Complaining about money. Mr. Johnson, talk to me. Okay, so in other words, she complained about the money and everything, so I'm like, it's not too, it's not too much we can do right now. So uh, her friend came to her. She said, well, you know, I strip. She said, but at the same time, everything, she don't have to, all she gotta do is chaperone me. Mm hmm No problem with that. Have no problem with that at all and everything. This is my complaint right here. She uh, went out with her friend, went out with her. They went and did, I guess, a little party, Well, they went to and everything. Okay, here you come strolling back up at 7 o'clock in the morning. So then. 7 in the morning. And 7 in the morning, so right? So then, Johnson, tell me what happened when you were chaperoning This is what I stripper. do. And see, what he don't know is, the way he, how he found out I was doing it, somebody he worked with, I'm in the VIP room with them. He said, don't I know you? You look familiar. I get a phone call. You right. Stop, said, Mr. Johnson. Okay. He said, wait a minute. I work with your husband. That's how I, that's how you do. That'll be $500. I don't care. So? $500 for what? For, uh, uh, for, for a VIP. For, 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 for what? My girlfriend, she'll go dance. Yeah. And if she'll make a lot of money, I used to hold her money for her. That's so not what I can, hear. So she can keep her money, like, out. Oh, so yeah. you tell a guy when now he's coming home, he's got to give up get $500 right. before he can come in. Now, when we had parties, I'll go and I'll be in a little outfit or something like that. But I didn't ever dance, you right. know what I'm saying? Well, I know I can. 
I didn't lost the weight to do it, but I wasn't doing it. You weren't he doing don't it. like me with my friend because she bring out the no, best of me. No, no, no. And I, he don't like it. Okay, then. Well, ask the Wait, Miss, but Mrs. Johnson, you told me, me that. Told, that no, hang on. You told me that he cheated on you while you were on the operating table. Tell me about that. Oh, God. Nah, no, that's not true, but go ahead. I'm sick <laughs> for three months in and out the hospital trying to find out what's wrong with me. We found out it was my gallbladder, mm -hmm. right? My family took me to the hospital. While I'm getting cut open, he on the phone with the next female trying to explain to her why he ain't gonna see her in a couple of days because he gotta take care of his cousin friend, his cousin wife because she didn't have surgery. But he really talked about his own wife didn't have surgery. And guess how I found that out? Mm -hmm. El Dumbo over here <laughs> lost his phone. No, tell the truth about that. I'm telling the truth. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. I found no, his phone. And I called the woman. You didn't find she's 56, it. She's 56 years old. 56 years old. Come he on, come, now. He Mr. Johnson, like Mr. Old Johnson, woman. I knew she was old. Oh, the idea of being with a 56 oh year old God. woman is just not horrifying. No, it's I'm, not I'm, good. I'm, you know, I'm 53. I'll be 53. And you look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. So but you look gorgeous, though. No, no, but you look no, gorgeous. You, you, you look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. Were you cheating your face? Hold on. Were you Were you cheating on her while she was in the hospital? No, I was not. Nope. I talked to the woman on his phone, Your Honor. When he came home, I'm in my hospital gown. You in my talk, hospital okay. gown, ready First, to go to okay. war, but I keep forgetting. You know I done got stitches up in me. You know I can't you know get what? violent. You know I can't do that. So I got to go through it another way. I was copacetic with it. When divorce court continues, will Keenan finally admit that he's a cheater? His phone went straight to his voicemail. You have two unheard messages. For real? Well, let me see which one this is. Bing! Press one. Hey, it's me. I miss you. I wish you was laying here next to me. Come to find out this woman been around for five years, Your Honor. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Keenan Johnson, who denies his wife's allegation that he has cheated on her. But is he lying? This particular moment, mm -hmm. we were supposed to be getting back together. I found out he was dealing with another woman. When no, I let's told talk my about, husband, okay, hold on. this let's is talk. your last chance. If you don't get it right this time, Keenan is through. I'm calling him to bring me something to eat, because he about to come pick me up, and we about to go be with each other. We right. know we stay in the separate house. We about to go be with each other. I'm calling his phone. I didn't do it. His phone went straight to his voicemail. You have two unheard messages. <laughs> For real? Well, let me see which one this is. Bing! Press one. Hey, it's me. I miss you. I wish you was laying here next to me. I know for a fact I sleep on my sister's sofa, so I know he can't lay nowhere next to me. Who is this female so I want to be laying next to you? I don't call that. Come to find out this woman been around for five years, Your Honor. No, ain't no, that's not no five years. She's been sleeping with a black man for five impossible. years. That's Mr. Johnson. He's been having her that for five impossible. years. That's impossible. Mr. That's Johnson, impossible. Yes, uh, were you involved with another woman for five years? No, I mean, no. I know okay, her name, okay. I know. You know what, you know what, you, you know what, you know what? For her being Inspector Gadget, how can I hide anything for five I'm years? Five years? I'm Perry Mason, baby. Five Five years, uh, you can't, you can't, I, mean, respect the I, mean, I mean, with her, with her, you can't hide five years. Okay. You cannot. You can't hide nothing from me. I'm God's anointed. I'm your wife. He ain't gonna, he gonna make sure I find out everything negative you doing to me. What I keep telling you that. Oh, you got to know. I'm gonna find out everything you doing. Really? He ain't gonna get away with nothing. Really? 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 Why we really? here? Johnson, we? No, no, Mrs. Johnson, no, what no, was, no, the, final huh? what was the final distress. straw? Huh? Emotional distress. Emotional distress. distress. Okay. Tell the man is constantly telling you he wanna do right and you believe in him. Yeah. And then you see him with other women. That's abuse to me emotionally. Okay, uh -huh. This man know for a fact, as twisted as we is, and while we standing in front of you today, I love him to death. He knows this. Now I'm getting ready to leave out of town. Now he want to come with me. That's because he ain't got a pot to pee in or a window to throw out. No, that's not true, though. He messing with these women, Whatever. two pennies from broke. Nope. You ain't getting no woman that got well, no money. My understanding is that you you moved another guy into your house. Oh, let's I talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about that issue right there. 24, I was 34. homeless. 
24. From July 2010. We about to get old. hang on, Mr. Jones. We about to get we about to get a cracking up a hip pimp. Crack? You, you want to get crack? You want you want to you want to get personal, oh, Mr. Johnson? Oh, oh, Mr. Here we go, Johnson, just your tell me. This gonna twist your head, Your Honor. All right. Now, if you you are you a woman, you can tell an excuse. Okay. You yeah. can smell it. Like yeah, you bring said, this you on. Bring this on. Bring this on. I want I want to discuss this. You bring this on. Yeah, I stay with my sister. Bring it on. I had I had money coming in, couple thousands and whatever. Right, right, right. Lump sums of money coming in. Bring it on. He telling me, baby, when you move, I'm coming. Home. I got an apartment. And oh I meant that. He gave I me some that. money to get the apartment. That's right, eight hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars on my own money. I had six grand, whatever. Okay, that ain't got anyway, nothing to do with it. Anyway, to make the long story short, gonna do with it. he makes up an excuse why he can't stay there. But I ain't gonna have the ride to work. You are here with your family. The Lord is going to make a way and provide for you to get the work if that's what you really want to do for your family. You don't make no up and no excuse. This man used to walk four and five miles, work two jobs. He done got lazy on me. When Divorce Court continues, what's Keenan's side of the story? How did the other man get in the house? Mr. Johnson, you tell me about the other man. Divorce Court returns with the case of Latara and Keenan Johnson, who are in Divorce Court for a second time to bring down the final curtain on their seven-year marriage. How did the other man get in the house? Mr. Johnson, you tell me about the other man. He okay, don't know. okay. She said, either come home, or I can find somebody to come in here with me. All right, now, I, I mean, I'm like, okay, then. I mean, I didn't think anything about it. I really didn't, because first thing, first thing, everything, I didn't think she'd actually move somebody in, but so what I did was, I actually, um, I called one day and I said, hey, I'm on my way. Now, she, she go tell me everything for what? I said, come see the kids. She said, no, nah, you good today. So I'm like, well, okay then, um, I'm coming anyway. She said, no, nah, you might not want to because my dude here. I said, yo, dude? Okay, so I'm like, so I hung the phone up and everything. And you know, normally me and her, we get into like that for a couple of days and everything, and some push off. So mm -hmm. I said, I, I said, I'll let her say what she want to say, and so on. So. Couple days went by, and I decided to just pop up. Mm -hmm. So when I popped up and everything, um, my son was outside playing and everything. He ran to me and said, hey, Dad, how you doing and everything? So the rest of the kids came to me. We know we're glad to see and everything. So we, I'm walking towards the house and everything. So they went and knocked on the door, and all of a sudden, he should come outside and everything telling me and everything. You just can't just pop up. He right. couldn't just okay. pop up. His name was Now, why man. did you move this guy in? It was something that happened. Something that happened. It was something that happened. It was something that happened. You, okay, it was just no, 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 okay, it just don't happen like that right there. Why don't you tell me <laughs> don't about it, it don't, it don't happen like that right there. You want there. me to award you from him. My insurance can't pay for the type of therapy I need. Hmm. So what kind of therapy are you looking for? I need God's help. I need another brain. No, you need God's help. <laughs> You I mean, have, you, have, you, have you looked into getting therapy? Do you yes, have a, I, I'm you have in a therapy. therapist in mind? I've got a therapist right now that I can go to. Do you but, have any information with respect to who this person is, what kind of therapy it is, no, but I have how a much pump, it costs? I have a problem with him on the 17th when I go back home. And you're saying that he owes you money, for that he ought to pay you for what I'm going to um, call in legal jargon the intentional infliction of emotional distress. I mean, emotional he's hurt distress. you and hurt you. Constantly. And you need a therapist I as mean, a result. Come on, no Your Honor. No come on, if you, know, if you love somebody and they no constantly therapy. telling you they're going to do this and you then they turn it. around and keep constantly mm -hmm. cheating on you, right. no. that hurts. Do you think you owe her a few dollars for all the pain and suffering? She owe me. I'm trying to get a better person. You owe me. Owe me. Where are you, bro? She's got children. You need to She's your What? We have children. OK. The drawers you got on right now, Bob, you don't pay, you don't have, you don't you know do what? for yourself. You know what? By the time I get out of here, you both gonna owe me money for therapy. I, this, is, this is too much. This is too much. Let me tell you something. It is I what it is, I told you now. people last yeah. time, and yes, I'm telling you again, you can't act like whatever, whenever, and however, and expect it to work out. You wrong, you rolling, you shouldn't have gone back to him. He was hurting you, and you were hurting him back, and it was all messed up. It's still messed up. It'll always be messed up. Okay, so if you up. guys gonna stay you with are. each other, don't you come are. back here. Don't come back here. Don't you bother are. me anymore. You and you put your hand down. I can't give you any money for therapy. Why? That's even because all of... <laughs> Listen, had you listened to me and stayed gone when I, I told you, you wouldn't have had the problem. There will be oh, no recovery. In this matter, it is so ordered. Oh, 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 
Latara says things were good for a few months after appearing in divorce court, but not long afterwards, Keenan returned to his old abusive womanizing ways. Keenan counters that Latara's bad attitude and her moving another man into her house have forced him to give up on their marriage once and for all. They both say they're ready to finalize things and move on.